we can evaluate determinant of matrices using Gauss elimination. In order to do this, we need to know how the row operations are changing the determinant. So the first property tells you that if you interchange the rows of the matrix, then determinant is changing its sign. So basically, if you're given the matrix with the entries 1, 2, 3, 4, if you decide to interchange the rows, for example, you're going to interchange the first row with the second, it's going to be 3, 4, 1, and 2, the sign of this determinant is going to be the minus of this determinant. So the absolute values are the same, but it's going to change its sign. So we can quickly check this. So if you find a value, the determinant of this matrix is going to be 4 minus 6, which is minus 2, and the determinant of this matrix is equal to 6 minus 4, which is equal to the t. So you see, so the signs are different for these two determinants. So the second property tells you that if you multiply one of the rows to the constant and add this into the another row, the determinant does not change. So basically, if you're given the matrix A, B, C, D, if you multiply the first row to some constant L and add this into the second row, so you'll obtain the following matrix A, B, C plus A, L, D plus B, L, and the determinant of this matrix is equal to the determinant of this matrix. And the third property which we need to know is that the determinant of any triangular matrix is equal to the multiplication of its diagonal entries. So basically, if you're given the triangular matrix like 3, 5, 6, 0, 1, 3, 0, 0, 4, as the determinant is simply is going to be the multiplication of its diagonal entries. So the algorithm of finding the determinant of the matrix using the Gauss elimination would be like this. So if you are given the matrix, we're going to, we are just going to apply these two operations. So eliminating one of the entries by multiplying one of the rows as a constant and adding this to the another row, or interchanging the two rows. And we, we are going to bring the matrix to the row echelon form, and we can find the determinant of the row echelon form by multiplying its diagonal entries. Let's consider an example. So we would like to find the determinant of this matrix. 0, 1, 3, 1, 2, 0, 0, 3, 4. So what we are going to do is we're going to interchange the first and second row, first of all. So if you interchange this, it is going to be 1, 2, 0, 0, 1, 3, 0, 3, 4. So this is the pivot, and we're going to eliminate everything which is below this. It is already eliminated. Now we're going to choose the pivot from the second row, and we're going to eliminate everything below this pivot. So we can do this by multiplying the second row to the minus 3 and add this to the third row. So we are going to obtain the following matrix. It's going to be 1, 2, 0, 0, 1, 3, 0, 0. So the 3 multiplied to the 3. Uh, to the minus 3, it's going to be minus 9, plus 4, it's going to be minus 5. So the determinant of the last matrix is equal to the multiplication of its diagonal entries, or simply minus 5. But this is different from the determinant of the original matrix, because, say, we interchange the two rows of this matrix. So the determinant of the original matrix is going to be equal to the 5. So simply, say, so whenever we interchange the two rows of the matrix while we are doing the elimination, we have to multiply the final answer to the minus 1. 